Welcome back people to the next lesson of the QGIS course. In this lesson I am going to show you how to add your first layer. I hope you have got yourself familiar with the interface from the previous video. So to add any layer you have to use the data source manager toolbar here at the top. If you are not able to see this in your interface as I told before to bring any toolbar just go to view toolbars and you will see here data source manager toolbar check that box it will come here at the top go for open data source manager you can also type control plus l or you can just click it it will bring you the data source manager dialog in that dialog go to the vector option in the source type check the file circle and below in the source in the vector data set check the three button square box browse button and it will take you to the exercise data file I hope you guys have downloaded this file which I have shared in the video description. You can download from that link and in that exercise data set file you will you will see different folders, similar folders which you are seeing here at the screen. In, inside that you will find a shape file folder. Double click it, go inside and search for protected areas and make sure this file is a shape file. So if you go to the properties and check you will see it is .shp so that is an abbreviation for the shape file so make sure it's a shape file because there's another file of protected areas you double click this or select or click open the source is here now just you have to click add at the bottom and that layer will be added in the map you can close this now and you can see your first layer is in the map canvas so i like you to practice adding layers there are other layers also in that data set like if i go back to the data source and again go to the browse and this time you will see there are, there is one layer of places one shape file of rivers and another shape file of water so i would like you to add these layers one by one just select them and click open the place and then click add you will see the places dots is here these dots are representing the places right likewise you can add another layers i i would like you to practice by yourself i'm just showing you just like let's say water bodies i will double click this time add close you will see what whatever the water bodies are there they are coming here right so practice yourself guys try to remove layers and then add likewise get yourself familiar with this uh, software so in the next lesson i will be showing you how to add geo package data which is already there in your data set file which i have shared with you so see you there